He's like, have kids. And he's like, I got to tell you, you know, it's going to make you a better actor. So that's what I'm going to tell my daughter when she understands that she's here only because <laughs> your dad wanted to fine tune his craft. <laughs> What's up, guys? Nikki Novak here in the Young Hollywood studio with Ben star David Walton. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing really well. Thank uh, you. <laughs> good to hear. We were talking when we first started rolling about personal space, mm -hmm. and so I'm invading David's personal space as yeah. we speak. And when I invade, I put up a spit guard so that I don't spit on That's you. That's very polite of you. you. So, Bent. Bent. Hilarious show. Thank you. Amanda Peet is hilarious. Jeffrey Tambor is hilarious. I mean, you've got such an incredible cast. Amazing. What's our contraception situation? Uncomfortable. Yeah. Awkward. Separate. Cast. J JB Smooth from Curb Your Enthusiasm. Love him. You're smitten. Who's smitten? Oh, nobody. I was just trying out a white person word. I mean, anything he says, I mean, when you can understand it, is fine. <laughs> Well, he's a huge improper, isn't he? Incredible, yeah. That's like his, that's where he needs to be all the time. So the writers like helped him do that and stuff. I heard something about, you said about Jeffrey Tambor, that like the first time you meet him, he manages to insult you, but he does it in the most charming, fabulous way that people don't even realize they're being insulted. I'm still trying to figure it out. He says the meanest things <laughs> to perfect strangers and they like hug him out. <laughs> I am going to continue my conversation with Big Red. She's only shot me down once. Round two, then. What did he say to you the first time you met him? I was I was meeting a um, the head of the director of photography, and I was like, "Hey, man, how's it going?" And he's like, "You are so full of." <laughs> I just saw you. You didn't. You didn't. You weren't that excited to meet him, you know, like that. And I was like, "You're right." And I hugged him. <laughs> you did. I yeah. He hugs a lot. He's a, he's hugger. a hugger. Yeah. I heard he said something to you about have children. I bet it'll make you a better actor. Yeah, so... Not I, you, personally. Oh, but. no. Like, I was in the van. Like, <laughs> oh, was I had just gotten married. <laughs> and he was like, and I was like, yeah, you know, he's like, when are you going to have kids? And I was like, I don't know. I, I'm just so concerned about money, you know? It's like, I, like especially as an actor and all that stuff. He's like, don't even worry about it. The money will come. He's like, have kids. And he's like, I got to tell you, you know, it's going to make you a better actor. And so my whole joke with him now, not even a joke, is like, I'm going to like sit my little, I have a baby daughter on the way. Congratulations. Gonna, yeah, thank you. Yeah, I heard that it was like after the show or something, or after you got the advice, then miraculously this happened. Yeah, exactly. No, literally I went home that night and pregnant. <laughs> You're like, he I'm said I could be a better actor. actor. Get, <laughs> Get over here, yeah. honey. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to tell my daughter when she understands that she's here only because <laughs> your dad wanted to fine tune his craft. <laughs> I'm just looking for a fresh start. No, God, no. Just no, it's fine. How come you can't go 10 seconds without saying something annoying? You inspire me. You play kind of a. Slacker, surfer. Yeah, he's had a little. He's had a little rough patch in his life. So he's it's, good at slacking off. He's good at slacking off, but he's also <laughs> he can make stuff too. Like I'm good. I'm good. Are you? Oh yeah. Well, that leads me to a Twitter question from okay. one of your fans. Oh really? You sound surprised. Well, I didn't know I had fans. <laughs> Well, Anna La, and I hope I get her name right, is, and she asks, is, are there any similarities between you and Pete Riggings, not including Pete's potentially illegal activities? Um, well, I have to say, you can't see it on my hand, but I'm right now acting as contractor on my very own apartment. I did put a dimmer in into my a wall uh, that started my electric career. And now I'm so doing your much electric better. career. So you delve into the. I'm going you did deep. Your research. Plumbing, gambling. electric, finished carpentry, gambling, at all. Uh, what's this? What are we doing? What can you teach? When I go to Las Vegas to do character research. <laughs> For your character. I, I play blackjack. You have a good shot. I truly. Yeah, it's all right. I like to do this one. I mean, this is just nice and mellow. Yeah. <laughs> So you're from Boston? Yep, from Boston. So are you like, are you into the teams? Are you like a sports guy? Yeah, I'm uh, getting ready for my Boston Bruins. I just went to the game against the Kings. I have a t-shirt. It, it looked like such a loser, but it's, it just says, <laughs> you know, Boston Bruins don't puck with us. Such a loser. <laughs> Did you get airtime? 
Oh, definitely not. So no face No painting. face painting. You're not painting. like I've never painted on my face. Um, no, I've never in my life painted my face for anything. And what if, if you had a character that called for that? And well, you do your I think you know the answer to that. <laughs> and there we have it. This man is dedicated to his craft like no one I have ever seen. Thank you, I thank appreciate you, that. Thank you for coming in. You're welcome, thank you for having me. Should it be, like, what should we play? As, as, there we go.